When? 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 That word has been echoing throughout Towson University ever since Rob Ambrose became the new head football coach for Towson University. I got a chance to sit down with Coach Ambrose to discuss this and more. They never finished. They didn't. They never finished. If something bad one happened or second half things got blew up and they just couldn't pull it together. But the bigger point was that they could not play a football game for 60 minutes. Whether it was conditioning or mental, I, I don't know. But I've spent the entire spring teaching attitude and effort and how to finish everything you start as hard as when you started it. In the last couple of months, I've got to know them, work with them, and uh, I'm going to tell you honestly, the truth now. I worked really hard to try to run some of these guys off. The kids who just wasn't in their heart, it wasn't that important. <laughs> I give them a lot of credit. They survived. He sees you walking, and you're getting chewed out. So, you know, you know once you walk in that field that you're going to get focused for the day, you're going to work hard, and you're going to be tired. Well, coach, like, practice now is just so intense and it's so fast. You know what I'm saying? If one person messes up, Everybody has to, you know, everybody has the consequences. For the last six months, they've been earning the right to be here. Once they get on the field, they got to earn the right to win a ball game. The realistically, I knew I was going to have to evaluate the talent, go through a whole spring and see what we had at each position, what we had, what we didn't have, uh, how deep we were, how hard we competed, how old the guy, you know, I'm still getting used to what years guys are. I, what's your number again? You know, you know, I haven't been here that long. And, uh, you know, I get so many hours in a day with them as football players, so it's a growing process. Uh, my standard line is, and I'm going to stick to this, in three, years, in three years' time, if we're not consistently winning, they better have a good furniture budget around here because I bet I'm breaking things. Well, if there's one thing we should know, Towson's definitely in for a rude awakening. This is Miles Mays Jr. signing off.